You drift too far. An order member is within our reach, Bassam. And like those before and those yet to come, Alhu's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue. For Alhu is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand your blade to that very mission. And while Al Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Vassal. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sand. so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. Busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trial that awaits you. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient, and trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, Al Ghul. For you chose those with little voice whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh. Safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Thank you. 
The stage is yours, Blossom. I will be watching. Mm. What is the delay? I am not sure. I would like to remind all those frequenting the Bazaar today that all controlled products and items must be marked by the official team. Peace, friend. Well met, sir. Allow me to browse your stock. Please, be my guest. Very good, sir. Have a gear improvement project in mind? Excellent choice. Is that all? I must be on my way. Be well, Sahib. delays your departure, friend. Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so, here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. It is a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. If I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt departure may lure Al Ghul out. I am not here. Stop right there! What? That man is a killer! Stop killing! Please! There you are! 
Shadows. As you were. A strange thing to happen upon. Perhaps I can use this to my advantage. You must think me a fool. Do not mind me. to agree. Both two men are having a loud dispute, but not loud enough. How might I push them over the edge? Spices and silks. There cannot be too many of those Hold around. On. Turn and face me! Ah. <laughs> A crate with spices and silk. Not be too many of those around. Hmm. Pungent. This must be the caravan merchant's crate. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! 
Getting underfoot. Could you help clear my path? Do not make a scene. Is that what... Is this your crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very good. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice? Not today, no. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya sadiqi. Act as usual.
trouble comes, that we are always on guard. Now. inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. A hidden one you may be, but not just. 
Al-Ghul's relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain Al-Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a genie torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbiya Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Back home in Anbar, maybe. 